Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to reconcile a credit card statement. Now, a credit card statement reconciliation is pretty much treated just as if you were doing a bank account. However, your starting dates and your ending dates for the statements won't be as uniformed as, let's say, a bank account. They're not always going to end on the 30th or the 31st. Now, there's two ways to reconcile your bank account, just like there's two ways that you can reconcile your credit card. The first way is going into the banking menu and hit reconcile. Or from the quick start home menu, hit reconcile in the banking area. This little window will pop up and you're gonna to wanna to enter whatever credit card it is that you're reconciling. So we're gonna choose this one. And in the statement date, you're gonna to wanna to put when your statement ends for that credit card. For your in, your for your beginning balance, if you've never reconciled the credit card before, it will be a zero. If you have reconciled, this beginning balance should equate to that in which was on your previous statement. If for any reason it's different, that just means that maybe you altered a few things throughout the course of the month and your ending balance should be the same and everything should balance out. If not, then you're just going to have to do a little investigation work to figure out what you're missing um, and what's causing the difference. Now, you can go to ending balance now and put in the ending balance on your credit card statement. Now, this little window here is actually made for finance charges. So if your credit card company charges you finance charges, you would want to put that finance charge here, the date in which it was charged, and which account you would want to go that want that charge to go to. So we're just going to say it's going to go to bank services or bank charges or bank fees, however you have it listed. You don't have to take it to that account. Again, it's however you set up your chart of accounts. Now we're going to hit continue. And it's going to take us to our window. And just as your bank reconciliation, you can hit this little button here and it'll hide all the transactions that are after your date that you put as your ending date. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to see, we're gonna go line item by line item. So look at your look at your statement and check off all the things that match on your statement. Now, if you know that you've entered everything line by line by line and everything is 100% correct, you could go ahead and say mark all. And as you see here, I am $1,256.49 difference on my credit card reconciliation. That means that I've actually um, put way too much money in here and I haven't reconciled everything. I'm accounted for more than what's in there. So again, I mean, you can always go to modify and modify your balance. Maybe I have the date wrong. You know, maybe I have my ending balance wrong. Just change whatever you see is visually incorrect. You, statement was wrong, statement date was wrong, your ending balance was wrong. Go ahead and change those things to see if you can come up with the right balance. If that's not the issue, then that just means that, hey, you accidentally checked off too many things and you have to go line by line by line by line. And that's okay. Many of us do that anyway to make sure that everything's accounted for correctly. So again, we're going to go ahead and go line by line, make sure we got everything. And we do. Because as you see here, the difference is zero. You always want the difference to be zero. You never want it to be a, a different amount because that just means that you're not in balance. Now then what you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and just go to reconcile. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to write a check for this payment now? If you hit OK, it's going to take you to the check writing screen. And you're going to write a check for payment, whether that's to print or whether for you to pay it online. Either way, you're going to have to enter a check. If you want to enter a bill that you can pay later, you can go ahead and select that option. And it'll go ahead and enter a bill that'll sit within QuickBooks that you can pay at a later date. For right now, we're going to say, oh, I just got the statement in. I want to go ahead and pay it. 
So let's hit write a check for payment now and hit OK. Now, if you don't want to do any of those two items, you just wanted to reconcile, you could go ahead and just X out of it. And that's perfectly OK. But for this sake, we're going to write a check for payment. Hit OK. And the first thing that's going to come up is your reconciliation report. So let's go ahead and view that. And as you can see, we had $221 in charges, $67 in credits, and our cleared balance, which is the same as our ending balance, was $154. Now let's just say that there was any discrepancies, which means that you reconciled the account without a zero balance. Down here below, it would show you those discrepancies. So it would show you this is missing, this is missing, or you came out with two cents different, it would show you the rec it would show you the, the reconciliation discrepancies. And normally what you would want to do is just go back and find those discrepancies so you can correct them and get a zero balance. Now the details the detail reconciliation summary is basically a line by line of what happened on that credit card. So it should mirror that of your credit card statement. All right, and then what you're going to do here, this is the screen that we went to to say I want to write a check and want to go ahead and pay this now. So in here you would just type what the vendor name is that you're going to pay this credit card to. Make sure that the amount's correct. Make sure that the address is correct because you don't want to go into an incorrect address. And you're going to type in here, you know, September payment or whatever you want. And if you want, you can actually actually transfer this memo line to that memo line up there and maybe put your account number. Now, if you're going to pay this online, you can hit here and hit online payment. And it'll go ahead and pay it online if you have that ability within your QuickBooks. If the check number is not correct or you haven't written the check yet, you can hit to be printed if you're going to print it outside of QuickBooks. Or if you're going to handwrite the check, put the check number on here. And then you can save it. And there you go. You just reconciled your credit card.